Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, bringing you another great fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we will work on our side yards with path, lawns, trees, and fix up the size of our house. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And I want to show you guys some of the areas that we finished in our last episode. So we did our work over here with our with our pond and our park area. And we got this area all set up. I still want to add like a park bench and some things in this area. But I decided, and a lot of you guys agreed that this was the better idea, was to remove all the flowers in these long stretches like here and there and just have them in some of these corner areas in these islands like here and here. And I think that came out really nice. And I think that adds a little bit to the area and it kind of takes away kind of those just long stretches of flowers. There was just a little too many, and I agreed with that. A lot of people had mentioned that. Still a little bit more work to do, kind of uh, evening in out around these areas. But um, yeah, so let's get into it today, and we are going to get straight into it, and we're going to start pathwaying at this area right into it. So we're going to knock that all out of there, and we're going to start laying down the clay. There we go. So we're going to get this all laid out here, and what we're doing today is we're going to open up the side of the house here for doors and things of that nature to get out to our area. We're going to finish this pathway, as you can see. Uh, we're going to build a lawn and some new flowers and some bushes and things of that nature along here. So in this area. And of course, this is going to be our tennis court. So our tennis court is going to be in this section. And it's going to be surrounded by a spruce fence. So that's the closest I can come to, to, uh, to a tennis court. Kind of a fence or something along those lines that you would see in front of a tennis court so getting this all along here and we're i think i've come up with a pretty cool idea and so i'm looking at the house and i'm thinking how are we going to get outside so we got to have a way to get outside to our amazing yard so i'm looking around and i realize wait there's two places in this house that have nearly like a step up right there, as you can see, like a little step up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this window here and actually make it look like little doors. And that'll be our entrance in and out. And we're gonna do the same on the other side from the living room. And I think it'll look really cool. It's kind of like, hey, it's kind of like, wow, that that's gonna work actually. And it's gonna look pretty cool, I think. We'll see once we get it all complete. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna finish up this little pathway here. And I want to right off the bat also let you guys know how awesome you all are and thank you for the thousand subscribers or followers on Instagram. So that's really cool. Thank you for that. And, you know, I don't know what you guys like, you know, video or photo wise to put on there. So I just post pictures of my cat. But um, if you guys have any other suggestions for things to do on there, what kind of pictures you guys do like, don't like. And yeah, so let me know on there. And we have a call to action at the moment here. As you know, Wally, you remember Wally from the good times with, um, or no, Noob, Noob the Pro, Noob the Pro. Um, so we, we, we used to do Noob the Pro with my brother. And um, then he got really busy. He got a new job. He moved and things of that nature. And he uh, then we weren't able to do it for a long time. So right now, he's dragging his feet a little bit. So he, he needs a new computer because he can't do it on his work computer, which he has right now. So we need to inspire him to get a new computer or fix his, his personal computer so he can make some new videos. So maybe some mini games, maybe some other shenanigans we could get into. So we need to light the fire under him. And I'm trying to figure out, so my just myself bugging him has yet to result in any uh, meaningful uh, progression towards getting him going. So. I need your guys' help. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to his Instagram account, and that's gonna be in the description. It's Boy Guna Surfs, and we're gonna leave him some uh, some some comments. We're gonna you know, so leave him some type of comment and like I think at me so I can see him, and you know tell him that uh, it's time for him to uh, to do, make some new videos with Scar. So come up with some clever but funny, like clever and funny and um, comments about how we want him to start making some videos with me again. So it'll light the fire under him and, you know, inspire him a little bit to uh, get going. So after you finish the video, and if you have an Instagram account, go over to his thing, Boy Guna Surf, and um, yeah, just inspire him. Inspire him for some uh, Good Times of Scar video content. So I'm trying to think of something clever we could all write together, but 
I was like, it's time for the new videos or something along those lines. So come up with something clever and funny and um, send it his way. Go into his newest uh, photo on there because he loves Instagram. It's like his favorite thing in the world. So if he sees a bunch of good times with Scar, uh, super awesome Scars go over there and show some interest that um, he uh, needs to get off his uh, rear end and get going on the videos. So definitely head over there. Let him know that it's time for some new good times with Scar videos. So that'd be awesome. Call to action. Call to action. There we go. So we're just kind of filling in the pathway along here like so and getting that all in there. So what I want to do for my channel actually is to add a new series and just in kind of a fun, kind of just a lighthearted series we do maybe once a week. We just throw in maybe like a random game or a mini Minecraft game, something along those lines. When I did mention it before, a lot of people were kind of like, oh, Scar, you know, I love your buildings and I don't want you to become a mini game channel. I was like, of course not, of course not. Building is the backbone of the channel, of course. So it would be just something fun, just something we'd throw in once in a while, have a little bit of fun, have some laughs. But the main, of course, the backbone of the channel is building and building amazing things. So of course, that's not going to change at all. So don't worry about that. So that is perfectly gonna stay the way it is. We're still gonna be building on Scarland creative series and all sorts of good stuff but maybe just once in a while we throw in a, a fun mini game once in a while just for uh, some just to shake up things a little bit and um, yeah so i'd love wally to do that i think he would have a lot of fun doing it and you know he has some crazy commentary sometimes he holds back a little bit but uh he has some fun stuff he always comes up with some crazy observe he's like a he's like a a comedian that observes strange things and he likes to comment about them. So yeah, I think com have a little fun commentary with him like that would be excellent. I think you guys would enjoy it. So let me know. So what kind of mini games would you guys like to see? You know, once in a while, maybe on a Sunday or something, we throw in a new video. Um, so what kind of games do you guys like? I'm really, really bad at them. So that's going to be entertaining to watch. And um, yeah, so let me know what kind of games you guys like or what kind of uh, things you would like to see from me. And yeah, so give me one second here. Let me kind of catch my breath and I'm going to finish the lawn over here and then we're going to get to fixing up the side of the house. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fix up the sides of the house. Now I mentioned before that our sides of our house are going to look really bad when we're building the particular rooms and things, but now it's time to clean up the sides and make them look a little bit nicer. So we're just going to start to run up maybe a little bit of design up on the sides of the house here, right here. So we're just going to run that all the way up. And we're going to do the same on this side. There we go. So get that down there. So we can start to kind of cover up the sides of the house a little bit and get some of that nasty uh, stuff all cleaned up on the side so it doesn't look so messy. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're just going to add some um, some stairs along here and this shouldn't interfere with anything inside the house so there's our bed so there's one of our beds inside there that's funny um so we'll just get that all in there there we go so we'll have to fix that extra block i accidentally released in there but we'll clean that up once we get there um this block's acting a little bit funny but um i think i need to go inside and actually adjust that so we'll remove that get that off there get there and there perfect so this just kind of starts to clean up the sides of the house. So, you know, we do want to have like a mirror or a certain color for a wall or something. But yeah, so that's kind of the first step to uh, clean that up. So then uh, maybe we'll go over here and run up another um, another pillar there. And then we'll remove this section here and then just run another set across here. And I think that's pretty good. That'll cover up all that and still look fairly decent. On the other side over here, I think we're going to plant another olive tree, maybe right in this section. Maybe we could do another one right there. And that'll cover up that area over there. So I think that's good for now. We'll, we'll work on this side over here a little bit later. And yeah, so let's fly on over here and we'll do the same here. So I'm just gonna grab that, knock this guy out here. There we go. So what we're doing here is we're kind of opening up this section and we're creating some, you know, some French doors. So I'm gonna bring that up there, right there. And then I'm just gonna start to click this on there. Oh, oh, no thank you. Um, bring that up there. Good, perfect. Um, let's do kind of a flank. So we'll do a flank across here and that looks terrible. So I'm gonna knock that off. Huh. 
So I want my doors to be open, kind of, you know, nice and wide, kind of inviting, but I'm actually gonna move it in one more maybe. There we go. There we go, bring that in there like that. Perfect, and then I'll have that extra room for a pillar. So I think that'll look uh, pretty good right there. So we'll just kind of do that like so. And now we can run up the pillar on each side just to give the door a little bit of dimension. There we go, click that up there. And yeah, so that, yeah, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna probably play with it to see if maybe I'll maybe move these one over, but for now I like it. So this is what we're doing here. So we got our, you know, we're sitting here kind of having a conversation. We wanna go outside and now we can just easily access outside inside you know we're having a dinner party in here we want to open up the doors that has some extra you know some little ambiance in here perfect beautiful everything works actually let's just click that like that there we go perfect beautiful nice i like that a lot so all right so i'm going to build another olive tree because i don't want to bore you that because we've already done that a hundred times so i'll be right back all right welcome back so i've been busy 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 here working on our yard getting everything all planted and i've got blisters on my hands from the shovels because i've been planting trees and flowers and all sorts of great stuff so we have some uh olive trees planted over here and this thing's really cool because you can kind of see through on the other side and that covers up some of the uh, unsightly parts of our house so we got that all cleaned up and on the flanks of our tennis court i put these kind of pointy trees so i think those are kind of cool so I'm gonna grab some of that and I'm gonna build one right now. So kind of pick a spot here. Where did I put that one? So kind of line it up the best we can. So I think that's probably good. So just give it a little bit of a trunk there and then kind of go on the sides here, give it a little flank here. There we go. Put wrong branches every possible direction I could right there. And I'm still doing it. Haha. <laughs> All right, so let's bring this guy up here around the same height or so as that one. And then we'll just kind of bring that up here a little bit and bring that one up maybe like so. So just kind of randomly kind of put these branches on here. I don't want them to be super uniformed. There we go. Let's just get that on there. I think this will just provide a nice little kind of uh, transition into our future tennis court. So let's see how we're doing there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So far, let's put an extra branch here or there. Get an extra one there. And it looks a little awkward right here. So we'll just... Uh, Bring that up a little bit, maybe. Let's see here, bring that guy up too. Bring that one there. And yeah, they don't have to be super uniformed. That's I don't want anything in here to be like super, you know, kind of groomed down to be perfection. I kind of want it to be kind of a, kind of grown up a little bit, just kind of random plants around. And I didn't want the flowers to be too heavy, so I might just maybe take out a few flowers here or there because I don't want them to be too heavy in this area, but just bring just a little extra color in here. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. So now we can just kind of go along here and kind of stick a couple extra bushes here or there, just to bring in a little extra uh, plant life here or there. So just kind of randomly plant your bush, you know? There we go. You know, sometimes maybe he grew up over there a little bit. And then, you know, just kind of add it around like so. There we go. And this area, you know, this is kind of a work in progress out here. So we're not gonna get too crazy in this area yet. So that'll come later. So let's say we just bust out one more of these, get a good angle on how that one was planted. And it was somewhere about here. So I'm gonna do that right now. So just bring that up like so. And bring that over here. We'll just get that in. This one will be a little taller, I think than the other ones. So let's bring this maybe just like one more block higher. There we go. And yeah, it's starting to come together. This always takes a long time to do the landscaping and just it's super time consuming, but in the end it's definitely worth it because houses that have a good landscaping always stand out from the rest if they have a lot of trees and plants of all types of uh, varieties. It just has a more appealing look on the outside it can soften some of the uh, kind of the sheer walls of a house. It kind of adds like a little bit of nice uh, transition there. So I think it'll be uh, pretty good when we get this all complete and get it all done. We've definitely put in a lot of time. I think I'm gonna leave this face of the tree blank. Mm, maybe not, maybe not. No, 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 no. We're gonna add an extra push there. There we go. Just adds a little extra plant life in that section right there. And we're taking some of these uh, dark oak trees here 
and just planting them a little bit here because they can't grow without three more of their counterparts. So we're just putting a few of those in there. It just adds a little extra difference to the design a little bit. So bring that there. Now I might actually increase the uh, pot soil one block past that, but we can do that at another date. Just trying to kind of fill in things as we go here. There we go. Let's just plant a couple of these guys, extra ones here or there. There we go. Let's say we throw one back here. And there we go. Good, good. And then we just put in a couple extra plant grasses here. There we go. Put in a little bit of uh, extra there. Okay, nice. Perfect. And then we can grab one of these guys. Put some of them there. And we'll just put one right there. Put one right there. Okay. There we go. That is pretty good. And this will be our tennis court. And it's going to be pretty cool. Really big. Regulation. Perfect. I have a little diagram of uh, actual tennis court diagram. So it'll be totally spec. We could definitely play a real game of tennis on it. So we got that all set up. There we go. And look at our door. Wow, I love this. How we can just kind of go in and out. We want to head in here, get a popsicle out of our freezer, head back outside. And there we go. We have got one really super awesome side yard with plenty of unique and awesome trees and bushes. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you enjoyed it enough and feeling super awesome, a rating would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. If you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Low tree hang over here. So maybe just something like something like this here let's see how about we go like that there we go and just beef this this area up just a little bit more like that let's see so just trying to find a good way of making just kind of a low tree just a